Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, and advice, and following on my previous videos with respect to the Akedah Sitzak, the binding of Isaac and the burial of Sarah. The next event we have in this little chain of events uh, in Genesis uh, is that Avram Avinu, our, our patriarch, Abraham, instructs his servant uh, to go and find a wife. Um, take a wife for my son, Yitzhak. Uh, Genesis 24, verse 4. And I'm reminded of uh, some advice that Tarav Hirsch gave to, um, to someone uh, about looking for a wife, looking for a, a life's partner. It says, when you choose a wife, remember that she is to be your companion in life, in building your home, in performing your life's task. You should choose accordingly. Wealth, physical beauty, brilliance of mind should not be the determining factors in your decision. Rather, you should seek a woman who exemplifies kindness of heart, beauty of character, common sense, and intelligence. If you need money to set up uh, uh, your house and it's offered freely, take it. But woe to you and your future household, however, if you are guided only by considerations of money. There's an old saying, those who uh, marry for money end up paying for it. Avram's servant, Eliezer, knew this and when he went um, to the village that Avram um, instructed him to go back to the, to the, the, fam the family to look for a wife, he asked God for a sign. And what was he looking for? He says, uh, if I'm asking for water and she not only gives me to drink, but fee but it gives uh, water to the camels, that's the test. What's going on here? He knew that kindness of heart, that, 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 that chesed, that lev tov, that good heart, that is key. Guys, dusty old guys come in from the desert all the time, and they have camels. It's a common sight at a well. He wanted a girl that didn't see with her eyes. He wanted a girl that saw with her heart. And she sees this guy and says, he must have been traveling days. He's tired, he's dusty. Look at those camels, they must be thirsty. He must be thirsty. She offered him to drink out of her own hand and watered the camels as well. This kindness of heart, this chesed, this Lev Tov is so important because from it all other good qualities flow. And um, was she rich? He didn't know. Um, was she poor? I don't know. Maybe. It's hard to tell in, in, in a desert environment when people are all covered in, in robes. But he knew that kindness of heart that generosity of spirit, that would shine through anything. That was the test, that was why. And this was, I'm sure, in Rav Hirsch's mind when he was speaking uh, to the young man, don't go for money, don't go for, uh, for these passing things. Go for a kind heart. That doesn't wrinkle and get old. If anything, a good, true, kind person that shines even more brightly with age. We're going to be doing uh, more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope they are of some uh, use to you, some inspiration for you. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniil, and thank you too much.